What is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today we are talking about Vader and his transmission. I may or may not be needing a brand new transmission, and uh, today we're going to talk about why I feel like that. And also we're gonna talk about why I haven't been to the track. We're gonna talk about why I've been shaky with the upload schedule. All of that, all of your questions are getting answered today in today's vlog. So grab some popcorn, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications if they're not on already. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and start this banger. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lives All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on roll, came from Alright you guys, so is Vader's transmission damaged? Honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. I think it is. If you guys have been in the loop with all of the videos, then you've seen the most recent videos, then you know that recently we had an issue with Vader's transmission to where the check engine light even came on. The TCM was throwing a CEL because of the solenoid for gear seven. Um, and then there was some other issues as well with the transmissions. Transfer case had to be replaced, valve body had to be replaced, and that solenoid had to be replaced. Now, as you guys can see, obviously we got the car back. The reason why I think the transmission is hurt or damaged is simply because the hard shifting, the jump shifting, I'm still having that issue. Um, it is not consistent as it was before. It wasn't consistent. It would happen at random times. It would happen, on, but it would only happen during light throttle pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm lightly applying the gas, then that's when I would get that aggressive shift, that SVJ style shift. Now, that being said, my car is not an SVJ, nor is it a Lamborghini. So it shouldn't be shifting like a Lamborghini. <laughs> that being said, draw something's definitely wrong. And what makes it even worse is that this is not consistent at all. You know, the car can drive perfectly fine for like a week straight. And then literally after that week, at any random given moment or day or time, boom, aggressive shift, whiplash, headaches. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 that bad. So I personally feel like okay, y'all already we already replaced the electrical side of you know what I'm saying the transmission. Now I think it's time to change the actual mechanical sides. So like the gears, the clutch plates, basically, like all of that, the torque converter, like all of that, I feel like either needs to be replaced or the transmission itself needs to be replaced. Something needs to like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That being said, why haven't I been racing? Why haven't I been at the track? Where's the racing content? I know you guys love it. I've been getting these DMs all the time. Bro, if you guys are not familiar with Houston, Houston Raceway Park was one of the biggest drag strips in the history of, you know what I'm saying, drag strip racing for street cars, if you will. Um, Houston, Texas was basically the city that hosted Texas 2K every year up until next year. Um, Houston Raceway was torn down about two months ago and now all we have in Houston are eighth mile tracks now if you guys know me you guys been a part of the J.I. squad for a while or you've been following the channel for a while you guys would know I am not a eighth mile racer okay I, I race quarter mile I do quarter mile races 
So that being said, I'm just not as excited or motivated to get out to HMP, Houston Motorplex, and race in the 8th. Secondly, you guys know we're still trying to get, um, you know, some questions answered as far as the tune goes after getting the port work done and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, me and NRG are going to be working on trying to get them out here to have a track day to where we try to get this car dialed in 100% with the setup that it has now because after that, um, when it's time to go cam, I'm actually going to be completely switching out the entire setup. So we're really trying to see what this car will do as it sits because it's not going to sit like this any longer. Simple as that. So as far as racing goes, um, why there hasn't been any racing content, man, honestly, I just haven't been to the drag strip. It's as simple as that. Um, will I be going out to the drag strip? Yeah. As soon as we can get a date figured out with NRG, we will be there. The drag videos will be back. I still have the drag pack. It's actually on the car right now. I, uh, I just pulled into Mexico, so I'm going to do a pull for you guys real quick. And we're going to see if it's going to hard shift or if it's going to regular shift. I don't know. We'll do a quick little 40 to 100 pull, maybe 40, 120. I doubt that we'll be able to get up to 130, but we'll see. We'll do a quick little pull for you guys right now. About to enter Mexico, cross the border, and then get to the spot. So let's get it. can hear that like the rev hang but it sounds almost as though the trans is slipping a little bit i don't know i i, I don't know i don't know y'all let me know off of this clip what y'all think no bad a little tunnel action Jeez. Like I said, it's inconsistent. So some of these shifts be feeling too good. And some of them be like, uh, you could do better. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep it up. Bink. Gotta keep it up. Beanster. Emmy. But yeah, man, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think. Y'all think Vader is doing good? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna pull over real quick, give you guys a quick little walk around and get a good little thumbnail. <sighs> yeah, man. Here she sits, man. As y'all can see, got the drag pack on the back. Honestly, like, the car feels amazing with the drag pack in the rear. It feels mad light. And you can actually, like, you can legit feel it in pulls. Like, when I'm pulling, doing a pull in the car, the rear end feels like it's floating. So, like, I don't know. And this car is mad light with all the weight taken out of it. Currently, I have the seats in the car. I have basically full interior. I'll pop the door and show you guys. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around. I know it's been a little minute. The car's about to go under the knife here really soon. Full interior, as y'all can see, man. Carbon everywhere. Back seat in there. But yeah. Yeah, man. I, this is how Vader is sitting right now. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm back on the grind. About to get this content pumping out crazy for y'all. I got two new modifications for the car. And I'm actually about to start installing. Um, one of them is a kill switch. And the other one, the other one, well... Let's just say it's gonna be lit. <laughs> Let's just say it's gonna be lit. But yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, man. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in that comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the hood. Should we throw a carbon fiber front splitter up front to kind of break up that, that, that paint? Throw some more carbon up there, kind of even it out a little bit. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, man. But 
God damn, I love this car. <laughs> I mean, it's just, how could you not? I want to give you guys some rams to close this video out. Should I give you guys some rams to close this video out? Catless, long tube header, AWE track exhaust, X pipe. Okay, fuck it. I I'll give you guys some rams. Some rams. Sorry for that angle, boys. I had to use the shoe. I had to use the Jordan 4. You feel me? Yeah, man, like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Sorry about that crooked angle on the revs. At least I blessed your ears. You dig what I'm saying? That's gonna wrap it up for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro here. You Like I said, man, comment down below. Carbon fiber front splitter, should we do it? Yes, no. Let me know. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.